York with a car? Is that what I saw on Twitter? What's that? Did you say you were trying to find a parking space in the Upper East Side? No. That wasn't you? That wasn't me. Oh, I, forget it. I cannot wrap my head around what it must be like to drive here. I have a hard enough time in LA. How did you get it? Did you walk here or take a car? We, oh, took, we, took, we, we took a car. Did it move? But it was painfully Fairly, long. Yeah. We should have just taken the subway. Quick. Take the we subway. Yeah, we take the subway. Reading a turtle at yeah. the same pace. Yeah, yeah. Do you miss your warehouse 13? Every day. Because I do too. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still in touch with everybody. I just, I just did a couple of co other conventions with Eddie, who just got a, a fancy new show. He's going to be on uh, uh, Shooter with Ryan Phillippe, uh, the Mark Wahlberg thing there. Awesome. And Saul is doing a really amazing thing in China right now that I don't think I'm allowed to talk about. So. Yeah, no, I miss it like crazy. So that what? show is great. Thank you. What's going on? Right here oh. with this guy? Yeah. Um, you want to you hear about our relationship on the show? Or like what we think about each other in the real world? Oh. Like, what do you want to know? <laughs> Everything. Yeah, we're not you know, nothing's being taped. Uh, you know, working with her has been amazing. I she's, paid him five dollars. She's a veteran, and this is my first TV show uh, as a regular. So honestly, having her as a scene partner for the majority of my time on Citrus has been really a blessing. She's taught me a lot, you know. And she takes care of me too. She's she's referring she's to the herself. kissing scenes, or? not too, you know. It's not. It's oh, not. this sweet boy! I'm about to throw you under the bus so <laughs> big. Yo, here we go. You guys ready? Okay. So oh, uh, the night before we were to film our. Uh, uh, Love connection, if you will. Uh, I get this was only episode two. Right? Yeah, episode two, three. Like three. Episode we three. Made an episode two. And I've we never bang in episode three. E yeah, and I've never kissed anyone on camera before. I get a text message the night before. <sighs> I'm getting it real intimate. It was like, okay, so I just, I just want to let you know, like, I get sweaty palms. Like, it's not a big thing. Like, I just wanted to, you know, so just like, I'm sorry, I had a time. And he sent me the like, uh, sunglasses emoji. <laughs> I tried to sound as cool as possible. I just figured which, if I was honest just with her, made so, so you like, sound that much more nervous. I was. I was. I, know I, was, you were. I, I know was. You were. I could tell. I, I didn't want to like gross her out. Where it's one of those things where like listen, I go to give her a hug and she's like, "Listen to me." The hell was that? I, it was so <laughs> obvious to me that you were nervous that on the day I just I molested you as much as I could oh, off camera man. so that you would feel comfortable <laughs> enough to maul me on camera. Um, Did it work? Yeah. I, I, I mean, what do you think? The crew was sweating. Yeah. I think we did our job. The crew was really into it, so... Yeah. That's I think I think America enjoyed it. So. Yeah. I, my, my test is, like, if my dad can't watch it, like, it's sexy enough. Yeah, I didn't tell my parents. I just let them... You didn't tell them? No, because they were too many weird, awkward questions. We were like, what do you mean? Like, did you... So did you take your shirt off, or... <laughs> what are you, what are you wearing pants? <laughs> no. no, Dad. So like what? So what? I don't get it. <laughs> no, Dad. You know how you and Mom made me. Yeah. So uh, just to avoid all of those conversations, I just let them watch it. <laughs> I love the show. I love the show. I love the premise, and I think you guys work great together. Thank you. Thank you. You're looking at the A team right now. I'm just putting it out there. <laughs> so what's coming up for you guys for the next uh, season? Uh, well, season two is is kind of. I think about self-reflection, kind of where the characters are individually going. I think in the aftermath of everything that happened with Cameron and, and where we're picking up, I think a lot of people are affected about the situation of, of you know, losing somebody, and how that may affect somebody, and kind of what it means to be working in this program and, and how we're kind of going to grow up. I know Linus specifically is going to take some time to really reflect on maturing. And I think being more of a, a team player who kind of left a bad taste in everybody's mouth, kind of being whiny, just kind of not cooperative. And, and, and petty. Uh, yeah. It's really it's just like, no, it's not a good look. It, it's it's <laughs> Linus' bitch episode, so it's okay. You know, everyone has those moments. And unfortunately, mine happened at a bad time, but um, I think kind of with the whole, just the seriousness and, and possibly of, of losing one one of my best friends. You know, Linus' best friends. If he doesn't say it, is probably Cameron. So uh, I think it'll definitely have an effect. It'll affect him in a, in a big, big, big way. Uh, and for Camille, you know, uh, the, the events of the finale are, are definitely the craziest and most stressful and most dire situation I think she's ever been in in her life. And you know, I think procedurals. You, you run the risk of forgetting 
what life and death actually means because you do it every episode and it starts to lose its meaning and so that's my you know sort of main mo is like let's never trivialize the danger and especially for me like I, camille's never seen shit like this you know what i mean so she's uh, take uh, you know like like Tesh was saying everybody's taking a step back figuring out what the 2.0 version of themselves is going to be um, and for my part I uh, took Krav Maga training this summer because I said we have we're lousy with desk jockeys um, and nobody aside from Fisher is our muscle on the team nobody's really qualified to be out there talking to potential criminals so why don't like, I, I spoke to the writers. I was like, "Put me in. I, I'm a physical girl. Like, make me the muscle. Make me your Black Widow." So there'll be a sparring match between Camille and Lyons. More, I, more <laughs> of like a Mr. and Mrs. Smith, like that fighting back to back, you know, kind of thing. Yeah. That was my pitch, anyway. But who knows? We've we've only gotten the first script, so we got the second one today. Actually. I mean, well, I haven't read. None of us are promised. <laughs> We're all here with you guys. Yeah. <laughs> Can we read it now or a little later? Table read. Imagine like table read. we just did a table read. cold reading uh, uh, right now. Uh, like, impromptu. <laughs> Table read of episode two. I'm sure it'd go really well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Free form. <laughs> free form, y'all. That would be a free form table read. Wouldn't it? Uh, oh, I get it. Sorry. Not till January. Not till January. We'll, we'll, pro- we'll promote it. What else? What else do you guys want to know? I think I'm sorry. Actually, we're probably gonna have to move back. Uh, no, you're having a great I was having fun here. Yeah, this is good. Yeah. The tables are where it's at. The tables are where it's at. You guys are. Awesome. Thank you.